we are going to talk about an ad hoc hold uh, which you are given by ATC uh, while on an airway. And the scenario we're going to work with to keep it simple is we are en route to the Liberty VOR. And we, because of traffic at Liberty, we are going to be asked to hold south east of Liberty on uh, the track that we're coming in as we are, which is typically what is going to happen with ATC. And so we are instructed to proceed direct Liberty, um, and we are now told to hold southeast of the Liberty VOR, oh, excuse me, to hold 20 miles southeast of the Liberty VOR. And so in the GTN series, it's really just a matter of striking liberty and then using a long track to create that 20 mile waypoint. So you know, 20 nautical miles before Liberty VOR, we say enter. Now we've created our waypoint and we can now hold at that waypoint on our current course. Now, if for some reason they wanted us to hold in a different direction than we're already coming, we could do that as well. But here you can see the defaults are our current heading to Liberty, which is 308, uh, and that's our inbound course. Uh, we don't have to worry about the radial, we know what it is. Uh, direction, right turns, timed leg point. Uh, if they gave us uh, something else, we could change that to a distance waypoint, change that amount, and we could even put on are expect further clearance tile. And if you see, it actually says hold southeast of Liberty less than 20, minus 20 miles. And so this is exactly where we're looking for. If we preview it, we can actually see the hold, we can load the hold, and there it is. And if we go back to our main page and go down to our map, we can see that the hold, if we actually move over to it, is going to is going to be there.